Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Lincoln Financial Field, and it is indeed home to the 2018 Super Bowl champion Eagles. The link also is home to the Temple Owls. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. Temple about to kick it off and get this game underway. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The Aggies offense will get the first crack at it here. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young man. Big opportunity, big stage. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Utah State up tempo. On second down, he's looking downfield. He makes the connection. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Man, it's so important when you play QB. I got to know when to put some air on it. And I got to know when to rocket that thing in there. Work in the middle of the field. He knew he needed the rocket. Threw it in there. Great job. Great catch. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Quick completion on the out. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. So Temple's offense will go to work for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. To the air, it's Simon. Unloads to the wideout. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. Temple lining up to punt it away. Makes a move. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. From the gun, running back on the move. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. They'll throw it on first down. He's got it. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And the Aggies want to move quickly. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the end route there. The short hands, it's Lane. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that ball will sail into the end zone for a touchback. 
Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Right back to the well. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Quick strike complete. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. They get him on the ground at the 33, but not before he picks up six. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. The play action fake. Fires to the big fella. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And the Owls come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. He's brought down solid. Pick up, but a little bit short of the first down. Temple looking for a touchdown from the red zone. Wants to throw on second down. Those two failed to make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. And he's loose. And he'll take it to the house. Who gives a hoop? The Owls do. It's a touchdown. I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there. Finish strong into the end zone. No, I get six, and they go celebrate with your boys. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So it's an 80-yard drive, and it was capped off with an impressive 16-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole... They stripped it out. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Caught behind the line. It's Smith. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no gain. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in their gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Guys, it's Temple with the lead here at the end of the quarter. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. A third down play to get the quarter started. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got a man, it's Smith. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. 
He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice. And he intercepts it. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Utah State, up-tempo. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Line getting set on second down. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. And a nice run there for the defense finally makes the stop. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Looking to throw for it. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at 42. Well, this guy's become a bit of a problem for opposing offenses. In their last game, he had two sacks, and he's dominating again, getting his first sack in this game now. He right now is wrecking people's game plans, and this offense better find out how to slow him down. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drive. Gets it across the 10, a pickup of 5, and out of trouble to the 12. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fit. Nice job by this offense converting the third down. Listen, third and short, they know you're going to run the football, and they still did a great job being physical. Third downs has been such a struggle for this offense. Bottom 50, one of the worst in college football. Nice job on that play. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. He's got it downfield for a huge game. How great is it to have a running back who can basically run your entire route tree? You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, get open, and make a big play. This dude is special. Pulls it and fires to the left. This slot receiver is a guy the defense has to be careful of. He runs good routes, he's got some speed, and if you're not careful, this guy can gash you. Second down coming up. They'll try the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They thought maybe they could get the defense flowing the wrong way on the counter, but they were not fooled. Get him flowing one way and then maybe hit that outside on the other side, right? But they didn't even let it get outside. They kept it right in the middle of the field. Did a great job seeing it, going and getting it, being aggressive. you got to find a different way, maybe, to attack these guys, to use their speed against them. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and ten. Complete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic. Fortunate to get it back. And now on second down for this offense. Looking to throw at Simon. Throwing right. It's caught. Open runway ahead. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the ten. Setting up the screen. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Owl! I tell you, when this drive started, the defense thought they had them in a hole. Not anymore. What a performance. And I really like the play calling by the offensive coordinator on that last drive. That was a nice mixture of running and throwing and getting different players involved. Really nice job. Very poised in that play calling, and it showed up with a touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And the extra point makes it 14 0. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Clemson is down right now, but I'm not convinced this team doesn't have a C.J. Spiller-like big play in them. Any change in momentum, and this is a brand new game. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to NC State. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball, too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. He'll try to really get into this one. the coverage team able to make the tackle. Temple takes over and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that up to touchdown. And this quarterback has been dialed in too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. Uh, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop, create some momentum for your offense. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They're trying to get to it. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. Finds his man enough for the first. And he steps out of bounds after a nifty run and picking up the first down. From the 47-yard line on first and 10. Looking to pass. It's Simon. Quarterback extends the play. And he just chucks it into the fourth row. And that goes down as incompletion, but that's a smart play. And the QB coach and the OC will be very happy with the decision of the quarterback. He got outside the pocket. He obviously was so he's outside the tackle boxes. He knew he could throw it away as long as he got it past the line of scrimmage. Nothing there. And the quarterback is snowed under. This defense needed something to go right. Man, they're down big already in the first half. Get to the quarterback. Get him on the ground. This could start some momentum going back the other direction. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Going deep. He can't haul it in. Incomplete. They took a shot, but that's how we'll wrap up the half. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Utah State about to kick it off to open the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football with accuracy. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. 
This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air, chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. Reacting well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good, and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. Throws to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. And look, I know this offense made some adjustments at halftime, and they couldn't wait to get back out on the field and try to generate a score. But their defense is playing lights out. So to me right now, this is a no-brainer. After the incompletion on third, just punt it away and let your defense eat. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Freeman. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable on that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the heels. He leaves it with his back. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. The Aggies want to crank the tempo. Wants to throw on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And here comes the punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Fires to the wideout. And the pass is intercepted. Got some room to run. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Aggie! Awesome job by the linebacker there in coverage, reading the quarterback's eyes, spying the QB, knowing where that ball was going to get thrown, and then the ball skills, just to pluck it out of the air and take it back for a touchdown. Awesome work. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. The ball squirts through the end zone. That'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. Looking for a man. It's Simon. Find his big tight end. I'll tell you, when you've got a tight end like this, it makes it a lot easier calling pass plays on first down, even if the defense is in zone coverage. He did a really good job there working his leverage, finding the soft spot, and making it an easy completion. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They'll try to run for it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And obviously, this is one of the best offenses in the country, and it's because they get first downs. Top 10 in the nation picking up first downs. How nice is it to know you can turn around, hand it off to that guy right there, and let him go to work? He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. This Temple offense putting together a nice drive. Smith takes the handoff. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Here comes the offense on second down. Off the play fake. 
That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't not free for a fumble. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Feeling some heat. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Temple lining up to put it away. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting. Look at that toughness just running through everybody. Bulldozes his way through. And he picks up a huge chunk of yards on that play before he's finally hauled down. We didn't have to work very hard on that one. There was nobody in sight as he rips off a massive run. Sort of a mark of excellence for any back is yards after contact. Well, yards before contact can be sort of a badge of honor for that old line. Yeah, let's give them some credit. They got tremendous push getting hats on hats. They made that easy. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. They make the stop inside the 25, working closer to that red zone, a gain of six. Line of scrimmage will be the 24. Got his man quickly. And they make the tackle, but it'll be enough for a first down, and we'll see if they get another playoff here in the third. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. He'll pull it on the read. Oh, no, the ball popped out. This could change things. Oh, look what I found. The offense keeps it. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They move the tight end all over. Looking for space. It's Briggs. Pull down after a gain of five. It's at the nine-yard line. They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. To the ground to try to move the chains. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. And a big opportunity for this offense to tie the game up in the fourth with a touchdown. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Utah State! Ready to try the point after. And that's what makes this quarterback so dangerous, fellas. He can hurt you throwing the ball, but man, is he ever dangerous and explosive with his feet. You have got to be able to get this guy on the ground. If you don't, he has got way too much wiggle and speed. You saw it right there. On the move from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. The gift to the back. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got him, and they convert. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. The Owls will snap it on first and ten. Here we go. 
Motion from the offense. Scanning the field is Simon. He fires a bullet to the right. He's got it. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. This guy's gotten off to a good statistical start, guys. With that last completion, he's already now over 1,000 passing yards on the season. And, man, you know he's looking for more. And the Owls are rolling down the field. Flair, flair. Easy. Running back goes in motion. They'll go to the ground. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. It's all tied up. This offensive line, they want the pressure. They want everything to go through them here. They're saying, look, let's just run the ball. Let's get this thing down closer and closer to the goal line. Let's bleed some clock and put ourselves in the position to win. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdowns. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Leaves it with the running back. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. It'll be a run on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. And this one splits the uprights. They take the lead just over a minute to go, and now, guys, the challenge is why to stay on top. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense to be physically pounded. The run is coming. You know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano -y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're... You're all picked off. Taking it the other way. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown Owls. The defense puts six on the board with a big time interception return. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Lining up to add another. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee, and they'll bring it to the 25. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. They're starting to feel a little desperation here, David. They just can't press yet. It's go time. And it's intercepted. A turnover from the defense. Really nice play on the pick. Was looking for a little more yardage, but great field position at the 34. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. 
After the stumble earlier this year, a lot of people wrote this team off. People might be searching for spots on the bandwagon again now. Yeah, give this coaching staff a lot of credit too, Reese, because they made a few tweaks and adjustments schematically to their personnel as well, and they've really now seemed to find a nice rhythm. And it's hard to find that early in the season, but the good teams figure out who they are, what they do well, and you can tell they're starting to get in a groove, figure out who does what well, and maximize that and accentuate that. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.